hi everyone in previous video we have discussed about some of the natural methods of vegetative propagation in plants okay in this video we are going to discuss about the artificial methods of vegetative propagation in plants and there are three methods and these are cutting layering and grafting so let's discuss about these three methods one by one the first method is cutting okay first method is cutting and as the name uh, as the name suggests in this particular method a small part of the stem is selected carefully and then cut from the parent plant and when this uh, small part of stem is actually put in uh, uh, is actually put or placed in the moist soil there is a development of adventitious roots okay there is a development of adventitious roots now remember these adventitious roots can grow only if nodes or internodes are present in the stem so while uh, taking the part of the stem you must carefully check if there is any node or internode present in the stem okay so for example you have uh, taken this particular small part of the stem okay and in this stem there are actually nodes present okay nodes uh, nodes are present in this stem okay and when you will place this uh, particular stem in the moist soil okay for example this is a moist soil so from nodes new adventitious roots will arise and these new adventitious roots will actually help in anchoring this stem into the soil and they will start absorbing water and minerals from the soil and finally this stem which is present above the soil will slowly develop into the shoot or into the new plant so this process of cutting is uh, very famous especially in rows okay sugar cane and bougainville okay because these are uh, bougainville is actually an ornamental plant so it's very common in rows sugar cane bougainville then mango guava lychee and lemon the next method is layering okay what happens in layering is there is formation of roots when a stem comes in contact with the ground which further can be grown into an independent plant okay now what happens here is from plant one of the stem is uh, lowered and put into the soil okay a part of the stem is actually placed under the soil and slowly after few days from this particular part of the stem which is placed inside the soil new adventitious roots are grown okay and now the part of the stem which is above the soil okay this particular part of the stem now start growing as an individual plant okay and it is completely cut and separated from the parent plant now this layering method is useful in developing fruit orchids in horticulture okay and there are two types of uh, layering mound layering and aerial layering so you can see here in the picture uh, carefully mound layering is the first one okay in mound layering from this particular uh, tree the lower most branch is actually uh, taken and is actually placed under the soil and a heavy weight is placed above this particular uh, branch so that it should not come out of the soil and after few days what will happen root adventitious roots will develop from this particular part of the stem okay and uh, this part of the stem will now start growing as a completely new plant and it will be cut or separated from the parent plant from here okay in air layering or aerial uh, layering what happens is from this particular branch the bark of the uh, stem is removed okay the bark is removed okay and now around this particular uh, tissue of the stem moist soil is placed okay and polythene is tied around this moist soil to retain the moisture now after a few days what will happen from uh, this particular uh, tissue of the stem adventitious roots will start growing into this soil okay and later on it will be uh, this branch will be completely cut and separated from this main plant and it will be put in the moist soil okay and this particular area will now completely grow as a new plant third method of artificial uh, vegetative propagation is grafting okay now what happens in grafting is there are two parts okay one is known as stalk so this part is known as stalk 
and this is another part which is known as scion okay s c i o n this is called scion okay so stalk and scion both are from two different parts uh, plants okay remember this for grafting you require a stalk and you require a scion okay so both stalk and scion these two are from two different plants okay now what happens in the process of grafting is there is joining of a part of a living plant and this part could be a stem or a bud remember this could be a stem or a bud to another part of the plant causing it to grow as a part of the second plant now for example this is second plant which is acting as a stalk and and this scion is from the first plant now this scion is brought okay and it is placed into this small uh, cleft okay or small cut which is made into the stalk and now it will be tied with the help of a rubber uh, rubber or cloth anything okay and after few days what happens this scion completely gets fused with the stalk and they start growing as an individual plant okay or as an uh, as an uh, individual uh, plant or as an individual tree generally this uh, method of grafting is useful when we want to bring together the useful traits of two different plants okay when you when you want to combine the useful or any important or any special traits or characteristics of two different plants so we do this type of grafting uh, rows and fruit yielding plants like mango guava peaches okay these are the plants in which grafting is generally done there are two types of grafting scion grafting and bud grafting so this one which i have explained is actually scion grafting in scion grafting the in scion grafting actually uh, this part of a first plant which is called scion is taken and it is placed into the uh, this particular cut or this particular cliff uh, cleft of the stalk okay and it is tied uh, uh, tied uh, properly so that it can fuse together this scion and stalk can fuse together and grow as an individual plant okay in case of bud grafting there is a small cut is made into the plant okay this is a small cut made here you can see here this is a small cut made here into the stem of the plant okay now this cut is made in the shape of t okay like this in the shape of t and uh, you can notice here the flap of the t so in this flap of the t the bud is placed okay now the bud is placed properly in the flap of the t and it is covered and tied properly with with small uh, band or uh, a tape okay now from this particular area we can notice later on from this particular area the new plant starts growing okay now remember this bud was from different plant and this stalk is from different plant okay now for example uh, this bud was from different plant okay in this uh, particular plant or uh, the plant of the bud had a special trait okay and this plant uh, from which stalk belongs this plant also had any other special trait now when we wanted to combine these two special traits together we did grafting okay now this new plant which is growing here okay this new plant a uh, new plant is grown here okay so this new plant which is grown here is now having both the special traits okay both from uh, first plant as well as the second plant so uh, only cutting layering layering and grafting in artificial methods of vegetative propagation we are done with this in next in next video we are going to start with sexual reproduction and we will discuss phases of lifespan take care till then bye bye